little, little chick, okay? Getting your blood pressure checked or your blood sugar tested is a simple enough procedure at your nearest health clinic. Your record is kept once you continue to reside in that community. But let's say you move. Having ready access to your medical record once you move to another clinic is a difficult process. This is my second visit to the clinic. And as far as I have seen for the first visit, it was difficult because sometimes you come and you have to wait until the card gets written up. Another time you have to sit back and wait. And then sometimes your card might get lost and it's a problem. You can't get your medical report. This is now a situation we can say goodbye to, as clinics and hospitals throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines are being equipped with a system that connects these health centers. Like this one in Clare Valley, where the tedious search through paper for patient's record has been replaced by a modern, efficient system. There are many persons who go to the healthcare system and you can't find their records. A new staff comes in, there might be some quote-unquote spring cleaning, some of the files get thrown away. And medical records are very important, very, very important. Not that any other records are not, but they, they have a special importance in that you want to know what happened, say, five, ten years ago, because it may have a, um, some implication on the diagnosis and treatment of something that you have today. With electronic records that we are implementing now, that will significantly um, avoid those problems. Government is investing $22 million in this project, which is being carried out in four phases. The actual networking is being done by Ecom Institute. Each health center would be outfitted with a number of, of computer, computers and a server, and all of these servers are then linked to a central server in the Ministry of, 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 uh, of Health and Environment. The networking basically involves the wiring of the clinic for, for internet access. There are a number of points outlined in various locations and what we are doing is we, we are wiring those points so that when the physical equipment is brought in, it's just a matter of plugging it up and, and, and going. Right now I'm, I'm just putting up the ethernet outlet, the network outlet. This is where the, the, the computers will be connected to the internet. It goes onto a network automatically. So the computer here will be able to share the information as I, as I just outlined from around the country. The health information system is being recognized by bodies such as the Pan American Health Organization and has gained a considerable success by other Caribbean countries. Access Tech are the creators of the system's software. Its representative is Nick Rutter. It's, it's been in uh, Belize since 2004 and they've had very good results. So because they've had, had it a few more years, they're actually um, starting to use it to, to manage their health programs, to pick uh, programs they want to improve. And, and so they've had very good success. 2007, it went into um, St. Lucia. And so it is, it is absolutely appropriate. And, it's, um, it's, and, and the results are telling. So the people are using it, and St. Vincent is, is making very good progress towards that. And so it'll, it'll allow the experts in the ministry to it'll, it'll give them information or data that they can turn into information to, to manage the health sector. This new system calls on the expertise of personnel within the Ministry of Health. Kisho Shalo is the IT technician working on the project. We have a fixed period of two weeks after the installation where we'll be out in the facilities practically every day. Uh, if we don't um, go out on uh, a part, um, particular day, what we do, we make calls and ensure that everything is going smoothly. We um, leave the logbook so then if by chance the, any error, any query, the analysis can recall it and whenever we come to the facilities, then we can actually deal with the um, whatever issue. The health information system will present healthcare experts with a medium to help track and monitor the outbreak and prevalence of diseases. Disease prevention and monitoring relies heavily on data gathered from experts such as local epidemiologist Jennifer George. 
the diagnosis of all diseases will be noted within the health information system. The test that would be run at the lab will instantly be um, <clears throat> copied within the system. It then provides a real, on a real-time basis reporting at the national level, at this central level, we'll be able to report on a daily basis the suspected cases of any particular disease that we are monitoring and we can also see when it is changed from being a suspect case to a confirmed case. This case will be notified across and within the Grenadines at the same point in time from Chateaubelair to Fancy to the Grenadines. Physicians in these islands within these districts will be able to um, pull at, at the same time they can get their results from, from once the lab has put them up. Yeah. They have a, a special program in this information system where they'll be monitoring disease trends. So they can see quickly when there is an up, uptake in certain diseases. Diarrhea, dengue. So they could say, hey, they could call the public health department. Hey, no, we are noticing in Fancy or in Kittel, in Pembroke or wherever that there is a tick up of this certain thing. You better need to, do, you need to do something about it. What is it to be done? They will determine. For example, it might be that they send in fogging or they send a team to ensure people do such and such. It might be an outbreak of some foodborne disease. Let us say somebody um, drinks some water. There's a, a damaged pipe in a particular village and the water gets contaminated, causing diarrheal diseases. People go into the clinic, the clinic information, they will, because every day when it, they will enter, well, okay, we had 10 cases of diarrhea today. Somebody will say, but wait, we don't normally get 10 in one day. Next day you have 12. Say so something is happening here, because we only get one or two per month. So then they will see that information, they say, let us check out Vermont Clinic. Why is this happening? And then you can take the necessary action. Nurses, community nurse aides and the pharmacists are becoming familiar with the new system. What used to be time consuming, trying to locate a patient's file can now be accessed by the click of a button. This system is a great boost to the um, health system because um, it gives us easy access to files and um, it helps us to store and de um, keep data c properly because the, the, the former system used to use the filing system. It take a longer period to get information and um, sometimes you might miss file or um, some file might last, but with the computer by a click of a button, you get all the information you need. I, I like the, the legibility of the, the, the computer. Um, you know, sometimes in the pharmacy profession, um, people talk a lot about doctors writing and how you can't um, understand them. Sometimes the pharmacist himself can't understand. <laughs> but um, you, when you go onto the computer, it's, it's in typewritten. It's typewritten, so it's, it's more legible. And um, with this new system, eventually, um, we're going to have, the pharmacist is going to have printers where he'll be able to print his own, his own label with the, um, the dosage instructions and he can just um, put that onto the, the envelopes and onto the um, containers and uh, that, is a, that, is a, that is a step towards international standards. It's not only the ministry and the medical personnel who are excited about the new system. Some patients were happy to see the change. It would be good as if when you come instead of waiting on the card, you just get your number, the system bring it up and you go straight to the doctor. So if your card lasts, you don't have any problem because you know it's in the system. So I think it's very good. I think the system is nice for the clinics and the hospitals. For, for example, a while ago the guy was showing me that when you push in your ID, voters ID numbers, you'll be able to have your information come up on the screen, whether at the hospital or different clinics. And I think it's a good system because it has a number that you punch your number in and you get all the information about you. And you can take them over, see if it is in other countries and you can help. What we do in terms of like 
you know, encouraging the nurses to come out to the facilities. Um, Sometimes while we're there on a busy day like today and cleverly, whereas the DMO day, we, like, there's a lot of clients. So sometimes you find two, three nurses are going to be a fair amount, especially now starting a new system. You know, you need some time. So we help out however we can, whether it's N10 or a few clients, uh, just ensuring that the whole process you know, is followed properly. But with the introduction of any new system within the medical arena comes the issue of confidentiality. People always want to know how safe are their medical records. Well, according to the Minister of Health, they are much safer than the older method of filing. The system will be very confidential because there is certain information that will only be accessible to certain um, previously as, um, assigned persons. So it's not like anybody in the, working in the, minister, in the hospital or clinic could just go in and type in um, John, John Doe name. Let me see what happened to him. Let me see if he get AIDS or if... No, no, no. It's not going to be like that. They are certain... They have the electronic um, protection for certain information. Everyone, they have uh, their own personal credential. I mean, not even us who setting up the system can access somebody's password. You understand? Um, the system is going to design in a way that even if it's like, say, like somebody leave the computer for a few minutes, it automatically lock them out. So no one could just come and say, oh, that person figured to log out, so let me just go in quick and use the ID. Each individual has their own um, personal identification and their credentials. And um, the thing is, is that any sort of um, records um, in a certain period, like if you log in, the records, anything that go in any um, patient records access, then you can know exactly which nurse access it. You understand? So, I mean, the, the system is like I say, like, well thought of um, system. The excellent support system within the Ministry of Health is responsible for the maintenance of computers at the clinics, ensuring that both hardware and software are on mark all the time. We have a fixed period of two weeks after the installation where we be out in the facilities practically every day. Uh, if we don't um, go out on uh, a um, particular day, what we do, we make calls and ensure that everything is going smoothly. We um, leave a logbook so then if by chance the, any error, any query, the analysis can recall it. And whenever we come to the facilities, then we can actually deal with the um, whatever issue. You know, it's sometimes it's just simple question as in, a nurse might probably, you know, not clearly, you know, understand something and we can clarify that by being on site. So what we do in terms of like, you know, encouraging the nurses we come out to the facilities. Um, Sometimes while we're there on a busy day like today and cleverly, whereas the DMO day, we like there's a lot of clients. So sometimes you find two, three nurses are gonna be a fair amount, especially now starting a new system, you know, you need some time. So we help out however we can, whether it's N10 or a few clients, uh, just ensuring that the whole process you know, is followed properly. The health sector is certainly being transformed. As simple as it may seem, it's an historic moment. Using technology to link centers, clinics and hospitals. I am very excited about the fact that we are moving into the quote unquote 21st century and things are going to be done more efficiently and I also believe more effectively. I'm part of history being created in St. Vincent and I, I consider I'm a, I was a part of the introduction of a revolutionary health information system in St. Vincent and Grenadines. Implementing a modern health information system is more than just the transference and access of vital medical records. It may seem quite simple, but access to these records by doctors could very well mean saving a life.